So we're going to go ahead and open up this uh, Larry's Garage set. This is the 20 car set, Ford versus GM. They all have real riders, all have metal on metal bodies. And if I open this up, we'll get a kind of a quick look inside here. And you can see these are GM cars right there. Or sorry, those are Ford cars. Right there, that's a Shelby on top. Over here, this is GM. And Ford. Bronco on top there. And more GM cars. And uh, you can see the four exclusive cars to this set. There's the 70 Chevy Blazer. 70 Chevy Blazer. There is the Ford Bronco. 67 Camaro. And the 67 Shelby GT500. So, um, here are the cars listed. And I think I'm looking down at the cars. I'm not sure that's the same order you just saw them in. There's another one. Yeah. That is not the order you just saw them in. In fact, that's not even the correct column. But those are all the cars that are in here. And um, the reason I'm opening this is because I want the wheels on that red car right there. And this set has been sitting around until I needed the wheels on one of the cars. So it just happened. I've run out of those wheels and I need them. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I will be... Okay, and we're going to start um, with uh, the first uh, group of GM cars. And these Larry Garage, this Versus series, uh, the cars are GM and Ford. And there's eight GM cars, not counting the two carded ones. First one here is a... Get the name on there. Can't see it. 67 Pontiac Firebird. So, pretty nice car. Move these out of the way. So each car can have his own time in the spotlight. There you go. So that is the Firebird. Next up is the 55 Chevy. Favorite of customizers. Something you may not know. If I open up this door, there will be a little slot there. You can barely see it. But a little slot there that um, used to have a little bicycle that would come out. This one doesn't have it, but customizers love this car because it's got a great big side panel, a lot of real estate to show off graphics, and that opening door. So that's the that is the '55 Chevy. Next up is the Corvette Stingray, and uh, this was the car I wanted the wheels off of it. This is a nice car, so I'll have to think about whether I really want to take the wheels off that or not. And I don't think this one has any moving parts on it. No. Nope. But the Stingray. Pretty sweet. Next up is the is the 65 Malibu. I have quite a few of these. They were they were a pretty common car. No opening hood. No opening doors. So, Malibu. Next up, Corvette. And what kind of Corvette is this? This is the uh, Corvette C6R. This one is one of my pickup at shows quite a bit. I have a few of these, mainly for the tires. And it's got these really big, nice, nice tires on it. Hard to find the cars with those types of tires. And uh, this one was pretty common. So the Corvette. Next up, we've got uh, the 55 Chevy. There it goes. He has an opening hood. If I can get it open. There we go. See inside. Opening hood. 
There she is. Next up, 68 Nova. This one's got a real high back end. No uh, opening doors or anything. It's got an oversized back wheel. And last of the GM cars is the 70 Buick GSX. This guy, nope, no opening hood on him. So the Buick. And I will be back in just a second with the Ford. Okay, we're back and we've got the Fords this time from the uh, garage pack. And um, we'll take a look at these real quick. There's eight here. Not again, not again counting the carded cars. We'll look at those in a second. So, first up is the 56 Mercury. There he is. That's one of my favorites from the, from the box. Opening hood. Come here. Opening hood. There we go. Opening hood. Nice one. Next up, we've got the... What is this guy? He is... Oh, this one doesn't have a name on its base. Hmm. That looks like a Cobra. I think that's a Cobra. And it always has this kind of backwards opening hood with an engine in it. I'm guessing 66 Cobra? I don't know. I'm guessing from the number on the front. Next up is the Ford Fairlane 66 GT. really like this one. Doors open? No. Hood open? Nope. The Shelby GT500. There's blue wheels on this one. This one is the 56 Ford. Um, wondering if this is the Angli Anglia car. don't really remember. Should have had another one laying around here. I could have seen. I think they renamed this one. It does have an opening front here. That's about as far as I can get it open. Nice looking car. Next up we've got the 54 Ford Falcon Sprint. These cars had this really Distinguished front end, this teardrop cowl on them, which just to me always looked a bit oversized. Ford Torino, one of my favorite castings of all time. This one will probably make it into the final collection. And the 68 Cougar, also a really nice casting for this one. Opening hood on that one, barely. You can see in there a little bit. So I think my favorites from the set, really like the Cougar, really like the Torino, that power, uh, that Chevy panel. And uh, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the Merc over here, which would make Ford the winner, for me anyways. So uh, we'll take a look at the carded cars here in just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. And we'll look at the carded cars that come with these. These um, The carded ones, as far as I know, were um, variations, I believe. A long time ago when these came out. By the way, these came out in 2011. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, so we'll start off with the, with the really close-up of... Here, let's get a... Better view here. There we go. Start off with uh, the uh, Shelby GT500. And I'm going to leave this one in the package. And it will go into the collection. In the back, you can see they, they have all of the cars listed. There. Again, the Shelby GT500, 
in gray, and I think we can get some, there we go, let's get some light on it there. And we've got 67 Camaro GM in red. Real riders, metal bases. These were the premium model cars. Um, the boulevards, I believe, replaced these. And I didn't really like the boulevards nearly as much as the uh, garage series of cars. This one I think is probably my favorite from the whole set. This is the Bronco. It's got a, it looks white there, but it's got a silver top, red, red color, huge real riders on it. See on the back, it's one of the Ford cars, obviously. And there's your licensing. And last but not least, the Chevy Blazer. There we go. This one has some pretty sizable tires on it itself. And there's your branding again. Date 2011. Yep, these were good cars. If you're just getting into collecting and you want some premium cars, the garage series of cars tend not to go for a lot of money. And you could usually find them at the at the various collector show. So that'll do it for the unboxing of the Hot Wheels Garage here, and I will see you all in the next segment. Bye-bye.